back to the electric XP. Had this thing for over six months now, around six months. Uh, according to this, as of now, I've got 1,291 miles, which is actually, is more than that, because my odometer, it, it, it's not accurate. I use my GPS to, to really get accurate account for how many miles I actually got on this thing. So that's that. What issues have I had with this thing? So I've had to adjust the brakes in this thing like twice which is no big deal you just need an allen wrench to open this thing right here pull it tight with some pliers or something and then lock it off depending on how much pressure you want on, on the brake I, I have mine pretty tight as you can see but um that gives me some stopping power i can lock this thing up if need be as it got loose before this one's a little looser so i must have <laughs> not tightened it up tight enough back there so that's my health band it sees me moving around oh phone's in my pocket so it thinks i'm riding the bike still so yeah that's that other issues i had okay the gears don't always go into gear correctly now and that's just i need to adjust the the gears or maybe pin out the uh derailleur so that it it shifts more reliably in the future so that's one thing. The battery life on it is still pretty good. I think I have had some battery degradation over the six months because so I ride this thing two or three times a week at the least. Uh, sometimes four or five times, six times a week. So I'll definitely get my wear out of it. But I couldn't tell you for sure. It's just a gut feel that it's, the cells aren't as powerful as they used to be or they don't hold a charge. They're still good, don't get me wrong. But I do think they're just off of my my own punch that I believe they're not as powerful as they once were. I guess some of the accessories I have is this nice motorcycle lock here that I bought from Amazon. It helps me out when I stop go to a store or some a restaurant or something like that. I want to eat things of that nature. So that's that. This thing's been rock solid. I love, it. like I said, almost 1,300 miles on it. Oh yeah, the tire tread. It's worn down some, as you see, but it's still good. I think the back is even lower. You look at those, yeah, it's definitely lower. But I still got good good grip, good traction. Haven't really had no issues with that. Only thing that uh, irks me with this thing sometimes is the front gear thing rattles sometimes now. And all I do is put my foot on it, like while I'm riding it, like that or something. And it bends it where it doesn't creak. And, you know, just ever so slightly. I'm not, I'm not kicking it hard or anything. Then it stops rattling. Uh, besides that, this thing's been pretty cool. It's been pretty awesome. Oh yeah, my phone thing broke and it fell over one time, so I had to rotate it up, deal with that. I think that's it. I got my little speaker, still like that, for audio. I think that's it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get in, do a ride, y'all. So y'all can see the bike in action again. Oh yeah, every now and then the, the the cranks, the pedals will creak, which is annoying. You can feel it under your feet, and it's just, it, I don't know, it just, it's nothing major, but it, you know, uh, it's, it gets annoying. So, you gotta oil those every so often, and it goes away. People comment on my flat tire I had when I first got the bike. I haven't had any flats, so you can see, almost 1,300 miles. Back tire hasn't gone flat or anything like that, so, I think that was fluky, and so, I'm not gonna hold that against electric and whatnot. Overall, I'm, I'm very pleased with this. Dealing with the what we're going through right now, this is a great way to get out. We're doing social distancing right now. This keeps me active. I've lost close to 18 pounds since I've had this. Put it, put it, put some weight back on over the last few days because I've been overeating. You know, you, they told us to go to the grocery store and load up, and I did that, and I've been eating crap that I used had been eating because I've been trying to you know get my summertime body together but you know uh, comfort eating stuff like that so I'm gonna get back on I'm out here riding today trying to get this review in for y'all let's go for a ride I'm tired of sitting out here talking let's go y'all all right now you see uh, another use for my ultra pod I got it strapped to my handlebars here on my XP I had another adapter right here that came with another gimbal that I bought for this Canon Fayotech G6 Plus I believe it is 
anyway this was like an extra adapter right here so it gave, gave me more versatility see how to mount my uh, Osmo pocket on from the side mount so I can use my microphone at the bottom so that's what I'm gonna try to use today never done this use this before to vlog on my bike so we'll see how it works out so that's that just wanted y'all to see my setup I won't be able to use a forward facing camera since all the stuff is will be in the way but I'll, I'll have my chesty on and I'll show that to y'all in a moment so I get asked to what what I use to film while I'm riding my bike and it's this camera here which is I believe a Ekin uh, Ekin 9 or something like that 4k camera it still sells a lot of these and it's been rebranded by a lot of different companies whatnot so I may not find the exact Amazon equivalent but I, I can put up a camera with the same specs and uh, that shoots the same it shoots up to 4k the 4k is really crappy so I wouldn't even use it but it does shoot 1080 60 frames pretty good shoots an MOV file format so if you're an Apple user you'll really like that I'm not sure if it has an mp4 setting but I just shoot MOV mount it like that I got this off of Amazon to just about 12 bucks cheap so you can definitely get some good riding footage for cheap with, with a setup like this. Don't need anything super expensive, fancy, um, and it works. So, all right, about to hop on the bike. Uh, try to get some drone footage for y'all too, so y'all stay tuned for that. And here we go. Oh. All right, I'm trying to do my quad on the track fly yeah this works out y'all here's a spoiler alert <laughs> it went horribly i tell you uh i probably should have done a review on this mavic air i never did one because there was so many of them out there and i was so late to the party that it really didn't make sense but let me tell you this thing here i don't totally love it and i don't totally hate it it's it's like, you know, it's not a one trick pony, but it, it, no, it has a lot of tricks, but God dang, you can barely pull a, half the tricks off. So, making you look like, <laughs> making you look like a trick <laughs> when you come out and try to fly it and impress people. And I wouldn't advise that because it's going to play you out every time. And yo, I know I'm out here looking crazy like a cross between a black... Uh, Inspector Gadget and Urkel and shit. See what I do to get these reviews for y'all. I'm out here looking crazy as hell. I look crazy as hell anyway out here in these streets, but uh, in this particular instance, I don't usually have this much gear and contraption. I got half of that strapped to my bike. I don't wear a chesty or I don't have my Osmo. I do have the goofy saddlebags on the bike. They just. Uh, the utility just is great on those, so I keep those. So what's going on here is that um, I was trying to re-center the quad to set up a shot to follow me. I had it in active track mode, which is supposed to follow me. But the thing was like, let me get way ahead. And then it's like a reluctant dog on a, a leash. You know, you're dragging him along. He's like, just barely moving. So I'm like, can't even, I'm not even going fast on the bike. Like, like I'm leaving the drone in the dust. It's just not following me that well. And then it eventually ends up hitting a tree um, branch. The first time I uh, actually crashed the drone and that footage didn't come out. So this was the only video that was captured. Either I forgot to hit record or it, it didn't save, but I'm pretty sure I hit record. So uh, I, I stopped halfway through to make sure I didn't lose all my footage. Like, you know, that's one thing I do when I'm recording any device. Uh, I won't, I'll find somewhere to break it if I'm just been recording for a long time because, you know, your battery dies or, um, something happens to the camera at least you stopped it and you got that footage and you can always add to it you know after that so in this case uh, this was all that saved so I, I was lucky with that
crashed crashed and broke my propeller so much for avoidance crashed its own prop broke so that's that for this yep that's what i'm gonna try to do the most y'all back on the bike uh what can i say i uh tra crashed my drone it had a I was doing active travel on my Mavic Air and um, it saw the tree but it hit it anyway so I guess I need to do a review on that too on my Mavic Air had it for like a couple of years now I don't think I ever did a review on it so definitely need some uh <laughs> definitely need to do a review on it because it has some shortcomings that I, I want to address and uh yeah, <laughs> especially after crashing. That's my very first crash I've had with that. Uh, at least it can have been any damage. I broke, broke a prop and it hit the tree and fell. But besides that, it looked like uh, it didn't have too much damage. I think it lay in the grass. I'm not sure. It didn't possibly roll into the grass or what. Anyway, trying to finish this up. Um, got, got my Osmo mounted to my bike down here probably see got my other camera the chesty right there so hopefully this comes out okay um, at this point I'm just trying to get my exercise in and uh, finish up my little route so I guess I'll just record until my camera dies and um, I don't know I guess I can get some more insight on my camera on my bike so XP love it what can I say I love this bike uh, right now I'm on the trail set at Pelsis 2 and I, at this uh, thing I go about 12 15 17 miles an hour not the fastest mode but it's fast enough uh, if I could ride any mode all the time probably be a level 3 but it used up the battery quite fast. But for like anything in 12, no, 10 to 15 miles, I can, I can do that. My pedal is just pretty, pretty good without worrying about running out of battery. Pedal is 2, I can get 20, I'll say anywhere from 25 to 30 miles. Uh, and that's what pedal is 1 used in too. If I know I'm going real long distance, I'll, I'll use pedal is 1. Usually I'm running down with a friend. Uh, we ride together, and I got I gotta wind this thing down because it's usually much faster, even at closest one than than uh, he goes. Uh, whatever. Hold on, I'm about to try to cross the big street. Jam, I can easily just hope y'all can see it. Just hit the button and just crank it up. Uh, I think I'm actually in gear six right now, even though my thumb shift is saying gear seven. Uh, like I said, the shifter is not quite in alignment, and uh, I just had to fiddle with that to get it get it going correctly. But that shouldn't be no big deal. Uh, kind of been a big enough issue for me to worry about it. I can hear my right pedal kind of clicking a little bit uh, it's not too bad but sometimes feeling that gear is annoying feeling your foot a little popping uh, it's annoying but right now it's not too bad uh, yeah just enjoy riding this thing it's just help me lose weight and at least on certain times right now it's great for uh stress relief uh social distancing and all that stuff going on get on this thing it's just me I don't know, me and if I roll with a friend, with like, you know, a lot of fresh air between us. Um, and so you don't have to really worry about all that, all the stuff that's going on right now. 
it's, it's great exercise. Get you out. Get you moving. I just love it. And I, right now, let's see, I got my Osmo Pocket, another thing I love. I'm doing right now. Uh, even my cheap beacon jam or clone, I like it too. It's great for a situation like this to get it done. Really windy here, especially when I'm on my bike riding. So I'm sure even with the wind buff, this thing's probably picking up a lot of wind. Uh, I'll play my chesty cam audio, which is really not that great compared to the Osmo Pocket audio. And if the Osmo's not getting bounced around too much in his mouth, which will, which will introduce handling noise, it should have like a really good clean audio signal. Uh, but we'll just have to see it on that. Just have to see. But what else? Yeah, I'm just rambling on on the ride on the XP. I know these are my my most popular videos, or some of my most popular videos, because the electric bikes are a really hot topic right now. And uh, I could do more footage, but it's just like it's kind of monotonous. I, I pretty much take the same trails <laughs> everywhere I go. Same thing, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't think it would be that interesting, but I guess a review like I'm doing now is informative, so give me something to talk about while I'm riding and doing my thing. Um, I wish I had the drone, but I see that crash, that didn't last too long. That's why I don't bring it out too often because it's kind of finicky and the after track doesn't do too well. I mean, I mean I, there might be some shortcomings that I'm doing, but I try to fly it next to me so I can get a side angle as soon as I take off I start lagging and not falling right like falling from behind I was just too windy moving too fast or what uh, for the track uh, I would like to think that that's not the case but uh, anyway it's good for that how's it going and, uh, yeah just enjoying a little freedom uh, fresh air Stress relief, like I said, getting out here in these testing times that we're dealing with. Uh, be able to get out here, move around, get fresh air. It's definitely uh, a good stress relief, good exercise. Uh, some people say uh, that your bike's cheating. But hell, I mean, I got a regular bike, I don't ride it. I'm getting my sit in my garage collecting dust for years now. I haven't gotten on it. This thing, I ride it all the time, so it's not cheap if you actually use it, is what I say. And plus, there's been studies done on um, how it's not actually cheating. Of course, you can cover a lot more ground and things like that on the electric bike, go further, go faster, but you're also still getting exercise. Um, you still can crank and go hard and things like that. And, um, I mean, if I want to, I turn, I turn the pedal cells off zero and ride like that. I mean, first set in here, uh, which is really ain't that fun, but definitely turns the exercise up a notch. Uh, this thing gets your heart rate going. If I'm really moving. I get up around to your left. Thank you. Yeah, get your heart going. Uh, I usually keep it up, my heart rate around 100 and something, between 105, 110, 20. And I'm going at a good pace, you know. Plus, that's two. <laughs> well, that's love, is a not supposed to use when talking about material things. So says the Bible. I think y'all, I think y'all are living all that crap, but, uh, I really like these things, should I say. Uh, the bike helps me ex exercise. Uh, I got stuff in my mind, I like to ride, think about it. This is a podcast, I wouldn't be listening to one right now if I wasn't blabbering into the camera. So I like to listen to podcasts while I ride, real estate, personal development, all that type of stuff. 
what else? Uh, yeah, I just get outside, get fresh air, see things, wave with people. Even for this current situation that's going on, we got people at home, and, uh, sheltering in place, and things like that. I've been already kind of a hard body, so I'm working from home, getting my own businesses going, entrepreneurial endeavors. And, uh, so I'm used to it. So it ain't much change for me, but I used to like at least have my option to go out to a bar or a restaurant or things like that. And now that it's kind of taken away, you miss it. So I think after all this goes down, we'll take a lot less things for granted that we normally take for granted right now. And, uh, I don't know, be close to friends and family, God, all that stuff. So, definitely a time for reflection on uh, how we're going to take all things all this is over. Anyway, that's my two cents on that. What else can I say? Uh, I guess y'all probably want to see me crank it up a little. Let me get my uh, real quick. I don't know if my... There we go. See the speedo, which is not completely accurate. 24 miles an hour right now. Put up on a major speed in the zone. 26. Oh, it's far. It's time to go. And I'm low key stop sign. Love this thing. All right, let's get across here. Get my block knocked off. Cycle eight miles within 18 minutes and 54 seconds. Doc, last mile took you four minutes and 31 seconds. That sounds about right. So I think my GPS uh, fitness track is back on point now. I don't know about the miles, but uh, as far as the time that last mile, that, that sounds about right. So I'm gonna dial it down. Level three. This is like cruise mode when I ain't. I don't have a long trip or just want to get out. The birds will probably do it fast and have a fun ride. Put it on three. And then I just roll out. That bike is moving. So something's going on. Not gas out, not loud. But there's an electric pump to it. But it just kind of sparks the imagination. People seem to really like it. So I like it. And uh, yeah. This mount for the Osmo today seems to be doing pretty good. I know it, it looks like it's shaking around because it's kind of hard mounts to the bike. So I'll be interested to see how smooth the footage is. But I don't think it can alleviate all the micro vibrations that are going through it. But we'll see. Uh, I feel like the audio is flipping a little bit from some of the, from some of the uh, jarring and maybe the wind noise. But uh, I'll check all that in post. Hopefully, I, I won't regret having an auto audio mode. Uh, yeah. So now we're getting a little more into the, the hoods around my hood. Definitely worth places. Oh shit! Something just popped under my tire. I hope it wasn't my tire. I can say I roll over a lot of glass on this thing. Not on purpose, but sometimes uh, traffic will be coming in on the glass on the side of the road and I gotta kinda ride over there. Uh, never roll over no big pieces, like sharp, jagged pieces, just like small, crumbled up, like shattered windshields or a bottle that's been totally pulverized. That stuff doesn't do anything to the tire. So. 
you know, I try to avoid it, but I can't, obviously. But you can't always avoid it. And if you saw my library and saw my journals, I'll tell you what you'd have to say. This is the library, and these are the journals of a very serious student. No wonder Mr. Rome is invited to lecture and speak on his experience in the world. So I want the same thing to happen to you. Value capture that you can resort to later, go back over and review it. Good old Jim Rome. Really valuable. So that's my first step. First thing about Work harder on yourself than you do it. Develop the skills. Learn the lessons. Take the classes. Absorb all that is being taught to you these days. And then later on, of course, you can sort it out, what's valuable to you, and how to refine it for your business. Cycle 10 your miles within 27 minutes. Main thing is get a second stop last process. mile. It took you 4 change. minutes and 42 Just seconds. Let me say it one more time. If you everything will change. Never be the same. You'll keep growing. As you look back on a few months, look back on a few years, you won't believe the progress you can make economically, your relationship with your family, your friends, and whether you're in sports or economics or whatever.